Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name's Caitlin and oh my god, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all about it uh, when we get into the video, but um, hey, this is just a, a get ready with me. It may not be as high energy as all my other videos, I'm sorry, I will get into it, I promise I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, it's just get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing my makeup with some of my Project Pan stuff. I've already done my base because me and my skin aren't friends today, so I'm not giving her any any screen time. I think that's fair. Um, I'm looking very washed out and um, I'm wearing my dressing gown because if you think that I'm wearing makeup and getting dressed today, nope, it was one or the other and here we are. <laughs> just before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because I'm here poisoned and I'm filming. <laughs> no, I'm doing it because I love it. I'm doing it because I need a distraction. So uh, anyway, let's let's get into it. So I'm not going to be saying what I'm using on my face just because I'm using a lot of different things. I'm not just using one palette. I'm using about 50 palettes today. It will be it will be in the description if I remember. I hope I remember. I'm very ill, so I probably won't remember. <laughs> so um so yeah, I have food poisoning today and I've had food poisoning for about two days and I'm just I'm loving I'm loving it I'm loving it me and my mum are both very very ill with it um let me let me just tell you the backstory the origins as it were of my my super villain food food poisoning basically me and mum have been going through a very rough time right now there's been a very close death in the family and so we thought, you know what, why don't we get out the house and have a nice afternoon tea together? As you do, like a mother-daughter afternoon tea, you know, relax, have a chat, get out the house. It's just going to be a, a lovely time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, let's do that. So we went to this nice little hotel nice little afternoon tea. Uh, don't get me started at what happened in the afternoon tea. We basically got locked in the car park, but I mean, we got home eventually and everything was fine. That night, bit of a bubbly tummy, but I mean, I have very bad stomach issues anyway, so that wasn't, that wasn't an issue for me. So yeah, I go into mum's place the next day. Everything seems fine, all, all hunky-dory. I'm feeling a little bit weird though. I am feeling a bit weird. My tummy's a little bit, ugh. but to be honest, I'm putting it down to grief. Okay, I'm putting it down to grief. Everything's fine. Everything's fine until I say to my mum, "Mum, you know what? My t my stomach. She's not good today. She's not good. She's not loving me today." And she goes, "You know what, Caitlin? Same. Same." Same. But you know, it's probably just grief because that's what I've been telling myself as well. It's probably just grief, whatever. Until the next night comes. And let me tell you, I've never felt so ill in my life. That's not, not an exaggeration, okay? It's not. I've had a kidney infection. I've had, what else have I had? I haven't had COVID, so I can't really compare it to that. But like I've had, I've been in the wars in my life. Oh my God. Mm -mm. So I'm lying in bed that night and I feel like my stomach is trying to detach itself from my body. It's horrendous. It's like period cramps, but times 10. Oh, whoa, my God, I'm farting a lot. <laughs> it stinks. I, good job I'm very open on my channel. I pride myself on being open on my channel. So here you go. Um, you signed up for this, not me. I'm, I'm really bad, like really bad. My mum is really bad and we say, this is not grief. This isn't grief, okay? There is something wrong. We're both extremely ill at the same time with the same thing. What the hell is going on? So we both kind of like go through what what we've done in the past few days, what we've eaten. Uh, it has to be something that we've both eaten and we don't eat together. 
well we do eat together but we don't eat the same thing a lot of the time because my mum has very special dietary requirements which I don't have and I cook whenever I kind of like I have different meals because I, I have an eating disorder so I have different kind of meals and the only thing th there was two things there was two things that it could have been it could have been a some chicken wraps that I made a few days previously which I know I know it wasn't that because the chicken was fresh and everything else was just veg so it was not that I know it was not that or it was this afternoon tea that we'd both eaten um, <laughs> so we both sat down and we both went through what was in this afternoon tea that could have made us feel this way now we we deduced there could have been two possible culprits for this that was in this afternoon tea that we both ate at the same time we're having the same symptoms at the same time it has to be either a chicken sandwich that was in this afternoon tea or a salmon sandwich that was in this afternoon tea it was either chicken or salmon because it can't have been like cheese i mean can it i don't think it can can you have food poisoning from cheese i don't know but they're the two things that that we thought of then plot thickens that's when I remember, I actually it had a few bites of this chicken sandwich and I couldn't finish it. Don't know why, I just could not finish it. It didn't taste right and it's only when I kind of looked back and reviewed that I realised it just didn't taste right. I couldn't put my finger on it when I was sat at the table I didn't know what it was, I couldn't put my finger on it, it just didn't taste right. So I believe, in my opinion, allegedly, please don't sue me, I believe that chicken sandwich was either not cooked properly or it was off. But like, that's the only thing it could be. It can't be that chicken wrap, it is not the chicken wrap that I made because that chicken was fresh in the box we had just bought it okay i had made it with my own two delicate freshly washed hands and it's not going to be the peppers is it no so i think it's that afternoon tea i was actually going to film this video yesterday uh, and that would have been the 31st of July that was yesterday today's the 1st of August which side note how is it the 1st of August can someone can someone explain to me how it is already the 1st of August because I don't know anyway I was gonna film this video yesterday I needed to film yesterday I couldn't nope could not we had the afternoon tea on the 28th so the tw night of the 28th we were fine 29th 30th dead when i say dead i could not move out of my bed the only reason i moved out of my bed was to go to the toilet i was on the toilet for about 40 minutes each session oh my god toxic do not go in my bathroom <laughs> but that's the only thing it could be but there is like you know i'm feeling better today today i haven't been to the toilet yet which is very good and what time is it it's two minutes past 12 and i haven't been to the toilet yet Oh my god, wow, what an achieve- oh, has that been there this whole time? Oh well, I don't care. Um, <laughs> not been to the toilet yet, big achievement, big thumbs up for me. Uh, my stomach still feels quite tight, but it's fine. But there is a silver lining, I'm very glad that it's happened now and not at the funeral. If you don't know, I think I said in the, the intro of this video, there's been a very close family member pass away. I'm so glad that I have not been been like that at the funeral. I'm so glad it's passed right now because that would have been bad. I'm trying to incorporate my pink from my Pamela's eyeshadows in a few looks and it just overpowers everything. Um, so I'm struggling with this one guys. I really am. Yeah, I mean it blends everything out really nicely but it just overpowers 
everything. And I'm not a pink girl. I'm not, I've said this before, I'm not a pink girl. So being rudely forced to use pink is a, an interesting thing for me. Okay, I just blended it a little bit together a bit more. A little bit together a bit more. Anyway, I blended it together more. I'm poorly, okay? Stop judging me, please. So I'm going to put a shade that is in my Project 10 Uses, which is this middle shade. It's Oral by Jeffree Star. Don't support Jeffree Star. I don't support Jeffree Star. I feel like I need to say this every single time I use one of his products. Uh, it's just that I bought it and so I will use it because I do not like wasting money. I'm just going to start bringing it like up into the crease as well just to kind of blend it together a little bit. Okay, I feel like I want to pop some blue on the lower lash line in here just to kind of tie in that, that, that Jeffree Star shade. I don't even like saying his name, is that bad? Yeah, I'm gonna use my, my Zulu, the blue in the Zulu. Okay, this is like the eye look. I quite like this eye look actually. It's very like UV. I do like it. So I'm gonna um, clean up, put my lashes on, all that jazz, and I'm gonna come back. Hopefully my stomach still feels better. But um, yeah, I hope you liked listening to me rant about my moldy chicken sandwich. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I actually just kept adding things. It just turned into a, I just add, add more. More is more kind of situation. What did I add? I add, I added Cover Effect Shimmer Veil on, on the blue bits. I thought it added a bit of a pop, so I added that. And then I put a bit of my L'Oreal Glitter Fever on my lids. How cute is that? I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, my stomach is starting to bubble a little bit more now. Which is not a good thing. I had some toast this morning. You have no idea how amazing it is to eat toast after like three days of barely eating anything. It is amazing. But I'm just hoping that it stays in my stomach for at least 48 hours. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be brilliant. But um, yeah, that's, that's it for me today. Oh, as well, do you like my little... It's fluffy. Do you like my fluffy top? This is what I slept in <laughs> because I'm still ill. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna stop moaning and I'm going to make myself a hot water bottle, I think, and have a very lovely day. Read my book. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe because it will mean the world to me. Don't eat moldy chicken sandwiches because otherwise you'll end up like me. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>